Cause your license needs saving Do the wise thing Call wise man lawyers Cause your license needs saving Do the wise thing Call wise man lawyers Don't face that court alone Let the wise man team get you back on the road Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call the wise man team Black wise man Right, today I'm at Toowoomba Magistrates Court. Uh, client's been charged with repeat drink driving. Uh, this is his second offence in five years. Uh, today's charge was for a reading of 0 0.081, so low range. Uh, but causing uh, further problems was the fact that he had a previous high range in the last five years. So in 2013, he'd had a, uh, a charge with a reading of 0 0.183, so a, quite a high range reading in 2013 and uh, 0.081 today. Uh, when a person uh, has a previous in the last five years, the mandatory minimum will bump up depending on uh, what reading uh, it was last time. So ordinarily with a reading at 0.081 with no history, the mandatory minimum is nine, uh, sorry, one month, but uh, when you've got a previous high range, which is what 0.183 is, that bumps up to nine months. So the absolute best case scenario today was nine months. Worst case was a uh, lifetime loss of license. Uh, and I guess technically worst case is jail, but that'd be unlikely, even without a lawyer for your second DUI. But um, as I said, worst case, lifetime loss of license. Best case, nine months. Uh, I had my client undertake a number of steps in order to allow me to prepare the submissions that I needed to prepare. Uh, I got a uh, eight page form off to him which prompts our clients to basically give me their life story. So who you are, your background, upbringing, education, employment history, uh, family situation, what happened, any underlying issues, you know, if there's a death in the family or uh, mental health issues, uh, you know, you name it. I'm obviously not a uh, mind reader, I don't have a crystal ball, so I give this form to people so I can get a unique insight into them as a person and what's uh, contributed to them getting in this situation, particularly if it's happened more than once in a relatively short time frame. Uh, he's done that. I got him to do the reformatory course that we get all of our clients to do. Got him to get character references based on the template uh, we give. And uh, I drafted uh, written submissions of relevant case law uh, just to protect ourselves in the event that uh, for whatever reason, a magistrate wanted to um, give give a penalty worse than just a disqualification and a fine. Uh, I don't ordinarily push for no conviction recorded when there's previous, but every now and then it's worth uh, at least prompting the magistrate to do so. Uh, and even though I didn't make forceful submissions on the matter, I did sort of leave it open to the magistrate uh, that they had a discretion, notwithstanding that previous, to do so. Uh, so I prepared those submissions, both written and oral. Went in there, I did an affidavit up for the client to sign to it about what he learned at the course. I went in there, pushed the uh, submission as forcefully as I could. And as I said, my aim was to get this thing down as low as possible, with the lowest being nine months. Short version is I was successful in doing that. I was able to convince the magistrate to give the mandatory minimum nine months uh, with a modest fine. So the penalty was a disqualification of fine only. Uh, but further to, the, further to that, Notwithstanding that previous, the magistrate was minor to uh, record, sorry, not record a conviction. So summary is nine months, modest fine, no conviction recorded, client's happy, mum's happy. I'm Andrew Wiseman. Thanks for watching. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call the wise man team.